are feeling oh so confident today after defeating the Pampanga Giant Lanterns. Batangas currently has a record of 14 and 4. They are number 3 in the South Division. Number 1 seed is basically up for grabs for a number of teams already now in our standings. Oh yeah, there are like 3 or 5. Debbie Hernandez, shot clock winding down. No basket, rebound John Ray, great effort. Just team their first two points. Nico, I'd like for you to observe the body language of the players, All especially right. as they compete huh. in their first game after Pampanga. Now it's Tate Tedora connecting from downtown. Yeah, the players are always like that, coming off a big win. You always have that extra confidence, extra swagger in your step. And uh, they're looking very confident today. Well, John Ray Villanueva is definitely filled. And going back to Batangas, like you said, if you're Coach Cholo, you want to tell your players that you're only as going to get stuck in that moment. You don't want that to be your identity throughout the season, but you just want to build from that win. Standings wise, oh. but in terms of going up against contenders, yeah. they've lost against Zamboanga, Imus, San Juan, and Nevaisia. But what, what a way. To Doro. To Paulo Hubalde. Three pointer. How about that? Set shot for Paulo Hubalde. Two open. Bagay na bagay para kay Kuya Pao. 10 to 7. Levy Hernandez answers back. A signature for Levy's face, was, but able to sink that three. On the other end, there's the answer. Mark Cruz. Going to CJ Isit. CJ from downtown. A flex action. So left side. As you take a look at our three point shooting so far. And that only champion is CJ Eason from here. They have to be consistent. Levy Hernandez on the short stab. Eason going right, spinning left. Valoria catch it fire. That's straight away. Easy working that pick and roll. Gets the lead. 18 to 16. Good offensive execution for Batanga. Something that they really mastered in their previous game versus Pampanga. They were very sealed by Batangas. Jexter kick out. Baloria too easy. Back to back threes. Para dito kay Baloria. And attempts from the three in less than eight minutes of play. 21 16. That's a tough shot. Oh. But it seemed to be so easy for Paolo Hubalde. Great effort by Jimenez, but still no conversion. And this will be a breakaway layup for Jexter Apinay. Ambuluto protects. Short. Rebound Ambuluto. And no basket, no foul as well. Apinando gets the ball back. It's from the bench. And itong si Rafi Octobre, who was the player of the game last game, kakapasok oh, pala. Ah, good point. MJ De La Virgen adds three more bench points. Uh, if you're Batangas, you want to win. Of course, that depends on Bacoor's game versus Pampanga first this coming Saturday. The Rim just wasn't able to finish that time. Baloria, good feed for Rafi Octubre. As well, with some clutch shots for Rafi Octubre. Well, it's obviously his best game of the season as AJ. Batangas really protecting that paint. Now they are also forcing Mindoro to take outside shots. <laughs> Rafi Octobre from downtown. Here we go. On cue, we were talking about him. He's a big who can space the floor and loves knocking out a three. There's a three on the other end. Slid across the floor as you get to see a confident looking three pointer from Rafi. Montero. 36 26. MJ. Feet inside. Great vision. Another one. Great execution by Batangas. Nice patience. Three pointer for JC Asuncion. You see Coach Cholo Villanueva. Up. About that though, the consistency that Coach Cholo wants. Transferring it from the Pampanga game. Sobre before this game, no? Kung ano nga talaga yung uh, pagbabagong naramdaman niya. Ooh. As MJ makes another three. Villanueva just coming up big here in this quarter. Efficiency in their offensive execution in every single movement that they do. Kita mo naman, the screen set by Rafi, very effective. Sa Patanga City. Donachea, 
Scores inside. That's two plus one. Okay, uh, just outpowering Boris Panya. So it wasn't two free throws, no? Baseline inbound lang pala. There's the basket by Donachea. I did up. And we go back with the Aquaman. Miranda, his drive, and attempt. Basket. AJ Miranda. Nico did mention he has 11 points already. Tay Tay. Now he is up to 7 points. The way off. Kabila tayo. Pubalde all alone. Two pointer. Pubalde leaking out. And three assists as well. He might be going for another triple double here. CJ is it all the way. Is it. Shot lock, reading nine. Pass inside, Kristan. Good feed to Jan Baltazar. Here's CJ Isit. Seven seconds. Almost a turnover. Ball recovered by Batangas. There's the follow for Darwin Lenore. points to lead the way for Batangas and that's coming off here in the third quarter you want to improve your perimeter defense you you know that Batangas is very hot from the three-point line right now the drive the feed Cruz his spin tough shot oh. but he still made it oh steal specialty of the house for CJ Eason <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that's a special ability of Nico Saba as Paolo Obalde scores on the layup. Getting that steal. MJ, delivered hand, layup, no foul. What a basket. Defense by Batangas. Agem, his drive and hook shot. It's a bit. Miranda, tough crossover. Ito ngayon si Marvel Jimenez, three pointer. Credit a three to Miranda. 63 46 feet inside. Nice finish by John Apoluto. Okay, you can see the smarts of De La Verhen. Exceptional pass from MJ. Nice block by John Apoluto. De La Verhen can see uh, place right before it happened. He defended by John. Cross, pull up. Nice. Nice move para by Miranda. Faking the three. So basically, mandatory. Mandatory. For everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Pass inside. And the finish for John Amboluto. <laughs> it, it was a funny reaction. I hope we see that here. Oh, oh. Get stuck in the <laughs> that was the pass by jump to John Amboluto. Team gun. Rebound. MJ. Here comes Batangas. There you see. The stop and pop. Just so smart. Bringing down that ball. Noticing that nobody is on him. 70 to 50. The biggest lead was 22 points. Now it's 18. Now. Oliva to beat the buzzer. Yes, sir. Nang Antipolo. It's Mindoro versus Batangas. 72. Thank to us, Nico, as well, no? Not enough passes, should we say that, for yeah, Mindoro? They're, yeah, they're not actually playing bad. We just looked at the quarter score, seven rebounds in this game. 80-56. Pop-up Santa Maria. Just one pass, but it was effective for Mindoro. Us, Art Oliva. Escape. Oh. Tough pass. It's Donachea from downtown. Oliva faking that handoff. Donachea wasn't ready for it. It's a tough shot as well. <laughs> Napaganda pang ano para kay Donachea. Here's O'Neill Arim. Met by Bapa of Santa Maria. O'Neill, no foul. Recovery for JC. Oh. <laughs> That's two points. Miranda, kick out. That's a miss for Mindoro. 
It was Andre Dada. And a basket now for AJ Miranda, who's up to two strong. 85-63. Good feed by AJ to bop up. Ivano. Mm. A floater for AJ Miranda. But that wasn't the only 30-point triple-double. As VJ Alarcon. And that was by... Katie Menes. Oh, last year. That was against Mindoro, actually. Sarangani and Bohol, it's going to be good. Uh, it's evenly matched. And then mm. Negros versus Rizal in the last game. As you see a basket. Should that count? Going all the way. Getting the bump and the basket. That was one heck of a bump. That's not bump that. But okay, let's see Darwin. Mr. Lenore at the line. Bonus is good. Sunshun. How about that? Oh, some entanglement there as Ken of Secos converts. Everybody's okay. O'Neill. Oh, diba? Papasa niya yan. Two points for John Ambuluto. The other end, there's a drive by Montero. Retro Sayo. Joshua Montero. First one is good. Score reads 96 to 70. BJ. Top of the key, isolation. Alarcon. Oh. oh. Stage ng laro na ito. VJ converts on his first free throw. It's Pampanga. And this will be...